Lanzi's car here, Jamie's car over here. The cars always take this position with Jamie's car, the first one to go out of the pits because he's number one, the current champion. He leads all the cars down pit lane at the beginning of every session. Up at the front here is what's called the Pratt Perch. And we've got three Pratts. Two engineers and Adrian managing the team in the middle. Basically everything in the car uh, is measured and go back by the radio transfer straight into the pits. One of these is uh, the driver. I've got a cool chute with tubes and we keep cooling the, the driver with this water circulating around and we monitor to tell you the temperature of the water going around the driver. About 7 degrees to try to get this core temperature very low. We do 60 sensors, the brake pedals, the brake temperature, uh, but everything, throttle position, steering angle, gear shift, everything back to the race team here. All these computers, they see all the data live at all time. We've also got an intercom system here to link with the back of the garage where we've got another whole bank of telemetry, timing screens, our own analysts sitting at the back looking and delving into the telemetry of what's going on in the cars. So they can then help the engineers make the right calls when the cars come into the pits during practice, during qualifying to be changed. So these cars look immaculate. Everything's brand new on them. The panel work, the stickering. Of course, during the course of the weekend, almost anything can happen and sometimes does. So we've got to be able to rebuild this car, if need be, pretty much from the ground up. The only thing we're not allowed to change under the rules is the chassis. So once you enter a weekend with a chassis, you've got to keep that chassis. Everything else, engine, transmission, bodywork, we can replace if we have to. We've got to be able to cram that into all those little nooks and crannies on the transporters to be able to make ourselves as self-sufficient away from base as we can. Happy drivers will produce results. And one of the things we do for them is just to go that little extra mile. This is Jamie's helmet, which I'm not allowed to touch, sitting on top of a little fan duct here. Cool that helmet down for him so that when he gets back in the car for the next session, the sweat's been taken out of them. Hopefully, that gives us just a little bit more of an edge over everyone else. So when we arrive here on a Thursday, we'll take normally about six hours to set everything up that you see in here. So the, all these pit walls come in individual sections. This trellis work will be put up above the cars. The toolboxes will be slid into place and the whole place will be wired up. You can see the amount of wiring that we put into the garage, basically so all the different parts of the garage can talk to each other electronically. After we finish, on a Sunday afternoon. It then takes us about three hours to pack all this down into those brand new transporters for the trip home. Our whole telemetry system, it's a car which transmits the data, a set of computers here, another set of computers here, and a truck with some computer again. With about 25 people migrating and around, populating different areas and trying to talk to the computer and to make people talk to each other. At the end of the day, it's all about giving the best chance to the driver and the car to win races. And that's what all the telemetry, all the technology and all the people around are trying to do. Make the best out of the driver and the race car.